High School Sports on Stream Television is brought to you by Pennsylvan International, manufacturers and exporters of veneer logs and kiln-dried lumber. The Laurel Eye Clinic, a better vision for you. Anderson Physical Therapy, stay on top of your game by visiting them today in their Seneca office located on Route 257 or online at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. The Cranberry Mall, great Valentine gift ideas can be found at the Cranberry Mall. Clay Peck Auto Body, the Clay Peck difference, invisible repairs, learn more at claypeckauto.com. And by Rick Bowler, Allstate Insurance Agent, located on Route 322 by Sheets, proudly supporting all the athletes in Venango County. The, I believe it will be the singing of the national anthem. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Senior Session stand with some really awesome food is located to your left, and we ask that only uniform players, coaches, and cheerleaders come onto the court before, during, and after tonight's game. Venango Catholic High School encourages all fans and guests to be positive role models for the students by showing courtesy and respect. Please refrain from engaging in any kind of unsportsmanlike conduct with any official, coach, player, or other fan. Booing, taunting, use of profane language or gestures will not be tolerated. And good luck to both teams. And at this time, if you please rise and remove your hat, we'll have our prayer and the singing of the national anthem. God our Father, thank you for blessing us all with different gifts and for giving us the opportunity to share our athletic talents tonight with each other. We ask that you protect your students Keep them safe from harm tonight and always. Guide us to respect each other's talents and show positive support for their efforts. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And tonight's national anthem will be performed by Cheyenne, Chloe, and Shinoa Rudder. Ladies and gentlemen, that was amazing. Three young ladies get up here and sing the national anthem like that. And now we have the starting lineup. They're giving a uh, standing ovation here for the ladies. Three sisters, amazing talent.
And now we're going to start off with the starting lineup for the Clarion Bobcats. We're going to have the starting lineup for the Clarion Bobcats. Number 15. Six foot Cal sophomore, Cal number 15, Cal German. And 6'1", a junior, number 35. 6'1", junior, Nick. number 35, Nick Frederick. And 6'1", a senior, number 10, Jake Burns. 6'1", senior, number 10, Jake Burns. And 6'4", a senior, number 20, Gavin. Tall guy in the middle, 6'4", senior, number 20, Gavin Brinkley. It followed up by 5'11", senior, number 5, Archer Mills. The Bobcats are coached by Jess Quinn, B.J. Wren, and Tom Lewis. Now we have the, the host, Venango Catholic Vikings. Five ten sophomore number twenty three Andrew Berta. Six foot two junior Brady Sicatella number thirteen. Five eleven senior number twelve Thomas Fink. A six foot one senior number one number five Ben Gillespie. And five foot nine, seven eight, senior number three, Parker Slagle. Coaches, head coach is Michael McNelly, assisted by Joe Laird and Tom McNelly. Tom's also the assistant uh, or the athletic director here, and it was just announced that this is actually histor history in the making tonight. This is the first time in District 9 history that a boys varsity game is being referee, refereed by three female referees. So, and uh, I do recognize two out of the three uh, referees, so I know they've been around for a while for sure, so that's great. Uh, Chris Stiglish, Stiglish, I'm sorry, Karen Davis and Leanne Williams. And, uh, we appreciate the staff from Venango Catholic for all their hospitality. Go ahead. We got the Bobcats winning the tip off. Thank you. 15, Cal German. I'm going to say his name a lot tonight. He's, uh, he, from my records, he's the leading scorer on the team. He's been averaging about 20 uh, points a game. He dribbles inside to the high post, passes out to to uh, number five, Archer Mills, and turnover. So the Vikings come down the floor, led by Andrew Berta, passing the ball around, take a layup, and touched by, touch by the Bobcats, so it's Vikings ball underneath the hoop. Just underway here at uh, Venango Catholic High School, 7.23 left to go in the first quarter. Score 0-0. Sicatello uh, with the ball, passes it over to Berta. Berta takes a couple dribbles to the high post. He shifts out to number five, that's Gillespie, and that's good for a three point. Three-point basket there. Brings the score of three, nothing home team. The Vikings. Long shot by German. Touches the net, a little short. Vikings have defensive rebound. Verda passes over to Fink. Fink gives it off to Slagle. Back to Gillespie. And turnover. Number 10. And that was Jake Burns. And there's a foul. Jake Burns uh, went up for that layup and missed. And then he's get called with the foul there on the hold call. So Vikings take over. First and 10. No, wrong sport, Bill. Ah, oh, come on now. <laughs> Long pass. <laughs> 
We could have one of those. No problem. We've already had a three-pointer. I mean, yeah, that's football. So, anyways. Just so nobody trips over the foul line. Yeah. German up for the layup off the bank board and good. So that brings score three for the Vikings, two for the Bobcats. We're to dribble them down. The hardwoods here. He passes off to Slagle. Gillespie goes past it off and he misses his target. German in for the other two. So Vikings now have the ball and it's chased out of bounds. And it looks like it's gonna be white ball. Vikings ball. Parker Slagle up, brings it up the court for the Vikings. He gets in the middle of the lane and kind of gets trapped by three guys, three of the Bobcats. Uh, Vikings timeout, Berta with that defensive defensive uh, rebound there. So Bill, I was looking over um, because we're, we're kind of in uh, District 9 mode compared to District 10. And uh, district9sports.com has a pretty complete uh, listing of standings and records. And uh, a couple, couple teams stand out for sure. Uh, Elk County Catholic, they're ranked, they're 17 and 0, and uh, that's just amazing. And uh, <laughs> North Clarion is in KCAC North uh, with these folks, and they just lost their first game. They're 15 and 1. So uh, that shot miss. German to, whoops, Frederick, and he misses the, the layup. That's stole by German. German takes it up and good. Two points. Brings the score, Vikings three, Bobcats six. 4.15 left to go in the first quarter. And turnover and Bobcat ball. Like I said, 4-11 left to go in the first quarter. Bobcats are bringing it up the court. Archer Mills leading the charge here. He gets the ball back at the top of the key. Pass it around. Jake Burns takes it up strong and misses. Rebound Vikings. Sicatella has the ball, passes to Berta, Berta takes the shot, good. Two for him. Brings the score, Vikings five, Bobcats six. Three and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. Good pivoting work there by, by uh, Frederick. Long three pointer, good by Ben Gillespie. So Bobcat ball, they're trailing now eight to six. Three minutes, 3.05 left to go. Bobcats took the ball up, no good. Rebound, Vikings. Where it brings the ball up. The court for the Vikings. Passes off to Fink. Throwing it around the rim, around the outside arches there. No good. Number 15, that's German up strong for the Bobcats. That's, I have six on uh, six for him so far and Jake Burns two. Looks like Vikings are uh, deciding to slow down the pace a little bit right here, tempo. And there's a foul on the court. Black 10. 
That's two on him. 2.23 left to go in the first quarter. Tied up, 8-8, eight, eight. Vikings ball under the hoop. So far, Vikings have uh, zero fouls and two for the Bobcats. He takes it up, no good, rebound. Bobcats, Bobcats out. Frederick passes off to German and good. Two pointer, brings the score eight for the Vikings, 10 for the Bobcats. Less than two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Berta in, good. Ooh, looks like Mills saw the open lane. He needed to decide to take it in for himself, but he missed. There's going to be a foul. Looks like a Viking foul. Sicatella charged with that foul. That's one on him, and that's the first team foul on the uh, Vikings. So Bobcats inbound the ball. Take it down deep. Throw it out into the corner. Number 14, that's Ethan Burford that was in, came in. And check. Sicatella picks up a quick second foul. So Bobcats take the ball, they're passing around the outside. Hmm. Frederick tried to take it up strong, he missed off of the front of the rim. 24. SD Robertson in for the, for the Vikings, I'm sorry. Three ball good by German. He's got 11 of the 13 points for the Bobcats in first quarter. Like I said, he uh, from everything I read, he's averaging over 20 points a game. So uh, looks like he's on his way to that tonight. Half a minute left to go in the first quarter. 10 to 13 in favor of the Bobcats. Five with the drive and he gets charged with the foul. Ben Gillespie. No basket. So 20 seconds left to go. Vikings up, or Vikings 10, the Bobcats 13. Number 10, Jake Burns back in for the Bobcats. Ethan Burford coming up, bringing the ball up for the Bobcats. He has an interesting dribble there, Bill. Yeah, looks like mine. Yeah. <laughs> well, it might be a little bit better. German <laughs> passes off <laughs> to Mills. I doubt it. <laughs> he, gets, he gets the basket. 13, picks up three fouls already. And the basket was good by number five. That's Arch Mil Archer Mills. Goes for And that free throw is good. So that brings the score. Three seconds left to go in the first quarter. Vikings 10, Bobcats 16. Half point shot, half court shot by Berta, no good. Kind of some fast action here, Bill, in the first quarter. Everybody the, wants to get home, it's gonna be cold outside. I think so, I think so. <laughs> Anderson Physical Therapy is committed to your long-term health and well-being. With certified, licensed therapists, Andersons can provide therapy for all your rehabilitation needs. With offices located in Seneca, Cambridge Springs, Albion, and all over Northwest PA, Andersons makes it convenient for you to get back to doing the things you enjoy. So stay on top of your game with Anderson Physical Therapy. Stop in or visit us online 24-7 at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. Pretty nice little crowd tonight, Chris. Okay. 
Thank you. I'm sorry about that, folks. Oh! Joe Cherico gets hit in the... Uh, Texting and he's not even flinching over there. He's tough. <laughs> he's like getting finally woken up. Okay, Bobcats bring, up, bring the ball down the court. Hey, but taking me to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> There's 13. That shot's up no good. Rebound Vikings. They bring it up the court. And good. Number 12, that's Tom Fink. He's a senior this year. So Bobcats, uh, Bobcats bring up the ball. A little jumper from the foul line by number 12. That's Hunter Craddock. That's no good. Pass to Benj is left to Lespie, and that's good. So that leaves the score, the Vikings 14, Bobcats 16. And that's a three-pointer by number 15. That's German again. He had 11 points in the first quarter there. And that's a good Berto. Long. And no good. Sorry, Bill. I'm <laughs> kind of writing something down and I making a note here and What's need matter? to follow the action here. So. What's the matter? You can't text and drive? Uh, no, I can't. I'm not trying to text though. Bird up for two. No good. He drives the lane hard. Rebound by number 33. That's Clay Mickle. McRavi, he's a senior. Bobcats under, still getting those offensive rebounds. Finally, Ben picks up that defensive rebound for the Vikings. So Vikings bring the ball up. They're down 17-19 right now. Ben drives him, drives lane, falls up, gets his own rebound. Crossover dribble. 23, that's Berta, good for two. He's scoring some tonight. Ties the game, 19 all. So, uh, Vikings have 2-3 zone going on. German takes the ball in the lane and travels the call. And there's going to be a mass substitution for the Bobcats. So we have uh, 4.53 left to go in the first half. We got a tied ball game at 19, Bill. It's been action packed so far, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a really good ball game. I'm back and forth. When you have a tied ball game almost uh, halfway through the Second quarter, that's a good thing. Kind of a rare, erroneous, we'll use that word. That's a big word, Bill. Where'd you, where'd you find that? I don't know, dictionary somewhere. They don't even have dictionaries anymore, probably. So. You got it at the library. Yeah, the library. Got. They don't have library. No, they do have libraries. <laughs> so. so anyways, Berta brings it up. Passes it off to uh, Robertson. That's a turnover. German takes the drives, passes it off. Good by Nick Frederick, the junior, 6-1. So I had to make a uh, comment about Parker Slagle, number three for the Vikings, Bill. You'd appreciate it. In, okay. the book, in the book that I saw, his, whoops, nice rebound. Oh, he tips it in, Ben. <laughs> Gillespie with another two. Anyways, getting back real quick to Parker Slagle. In the in the book that I saw, he lists his height as five, nine, and seven eighths inches. Cool. I thought, you know, a guy your size would appreciate him 
getting the full uh, eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch measurement there. So Vikings bring it back down, tied 21-21, and looks like he's going to be shooting too. So Robertson going to the line for 35 is called. That's Nick Frederick. That's his first, I believe. So there's uh, four fouls on the Vikings and three fouls on the. He puts it up and good. Three fouls on the Bobcats so far. 329 left to go in the first half. See if he can make that second one here. So two, one, off the rim. No good. And, oh. German went up for it. No good. Rebound Vikings. They've been getting doing well under the rim on defense yeah. there. Oops. Out to Robertson, back in the middle. Out to Berta for three, no good. Rebound, Bobcats. Number four, that's Drew Wren, and he's a senior. And I missed that number, I'm sorry. Cal, Cal German with that two point. Underneath there was a lot of, <laughs> A lot of bodies down there, Bill. A lot of numbers. <laughs> if I add, subtract, multiply, divide, I'll get some of the number. I don't know. About the, Bert is that's his first foul. I don't know if you will or not the new math they got going. <laughs> yeah, you never know. So, 22 and uh, that's Donnie Cunningham in coming in for clearing. 243 left to go in the ball in the first half. Sorry. Bobcats passing around, pass inside, back out, and good. F Nick Frederick for two. So Vikings had a little lead there uh, on that on that free throw, and inside Berta, good for two. That makes seven for him this quarter. 15, that's a German obviously out top of the key. He passes around, wants to share the ball. Looking for that three pointer, deep in, that's good. That's his third three of the night. Berta coming up, driving the ball for the Vikings, passes back out. They're sharing the ball tonight, Bill. Yes, they are. Good, good movement. I don't see much communication, but oh, it's a charge. Whoa, baby. That Fouls was questionable. Against ben Gillespie. And uh, Nick Frederick's the one that took that call. So. Bobcats bring the ball up to uh, passes Frederick. He's up, no good. Rebound by Fink. Your boy Slagle takes it. Oh. oh, charge or a blocking foul. That's against Jake Burns, and that's number three on him in the first half here. One thirteen left to go. In the first half, Parker Slagle heading the line for two. And he puts it in. I believe that's his first point of the night. Number 12, that's Hunter Craddock back in for the, uh, for the clearing Bobcats. Takes that extra dribble, nope. Not good, but good effort there. So Bobcats take the ball. They're driving down the court. They're passing around. German from outside, nope, no good. Oh, nice play. Kind of a steal by Slagle. He drives it up the court. He gets blocked by German. And ball is called out of the Bobcats. Vikings underneath. 
43 seconds left to go. The score Vikings 25, Bobcats 28. Oh, he steps on the line, out. It's interesting, the, uh, the paint here, Bill, is uh, it's the court and then a black trim mm -hmm. that uh, kind of goes around the perimeter and that's considered out of bounds. So Bobcats bring it back down and passing it around and loses a handle and there's a reach in foul. Number four, that's Drew Wren, he's a senior. Be charged for his first foul. And it's a one and one. No, no it's not. No. <laughs> it's all right. We'd getting like to closer. have a one and one. <laughs> yeah, we're getting closer. So six fouls for the Vikings and five for the Bobcats. 20 seconds left to go, first half. Out to Robertson, Robertson dribbles. He passes it off to Fink, Fink takes it. He gives it to Slagle, no good. Fink up, no good. Four seconds left. And at the buzzer, no good by the Bobcats. So that's, that leaves your score at half. 25 for the Vikings and 28 for the Clarion Bobcats. Anderson Physical Therapy is committed to your long-term health and well-being. With certified, licensed therapists, Andersons can provide therapy for all your rehabilitation needs. With offices located in Seneca, Cambridge Springs, Albion, and all over Northwest PA, Andersons makes it convenient for you to get back to doing the things you enjoy. So stay on top of your game with Anderson Physical Therapy. Stop in or visit us online 24-7 at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. High School Sports on Stream Television is brought to you by Pennsylvan International, manufacturers and exporters of veneer logs and kiln-dried lumber. The Laurel Eye Clinic, a better vision for you. Anderson Physical Therapy, stay on top of your game by visiting them today in their Seneca office located on Route 257 or online at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. The Cranberry Mall, Great Valentine gift ideas can be found at the Cranberry Mall. Clay Peck Auto Body, the Clay Peck difference. Invisible repairs, learn more at claypeckauto.com. And by Rick Bowler, all state insurance agent, located on Route 322 by Sheets, proudly supporting all the athletes in Venango County. We're getting on to uh, second half action here and uh, just going over the scoring leaders for the Bangango Catholic Vikings. Uh, ben Gillespie has 10. Berta ha uh, Andrew Berta has eight, followed by SD Robertson with four. <coughs> Tom Fink has two, and Parker Sligo has one. And for the Clarion Bobcats, uh, no shock here. Cal German has 21 to lead all scorers. And then Nick Frederick with four, and uh, Archer Mills with three. Bobcats take the ball half court to start off the second half of the third quarter here. Um, well, you were talking during halftime how close the game is and um, they're making some shots and oh, three second call. Uh, that, that doesn't get called too often anymore, Bill. We were noticing in other games, but. Uh, the ladies are quick. Uh, they are, <laughs> well. I, I'm guessing that he was in the lane more than three seconds so than too. that, but because he had the ball, I think is probably why he got. So the Vikings drive uh, down the court. They're passing the ball around. Put up by Slagle, no good. Ball out to Frederick. Ball goes out of bounds off, uh, off the Vikings. So Frederick inbounds to Mills. Mills drives the court. He passes it off to German. German around the horn. I tell you, their passing's quicker than I can say it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Frederick had a two-pointer from the foul line. Nick's brings the score, 25 Vikings, 30 for your Clarion Bobcats. 
KSAC action, District 9 here. And five second call against the Vikings. So that means turnover, turnover on downs, Bill. On downs. Okay. Turnover uh, in favor hand, of the Bobcats. Fan handoff. Fan yeah, hand that's off. it. So. Frederick passes the ball in. Shot was attempted by Mills. Off by, ref called uh, off of White out of bounds. So we'll take uh, Bobcats out of bounds. Pass comes in and there is there's a charge, charge foul against Archer Mills. That's his first, and the first for the um, for the Bobcats in the in the second half here. So, dribble down by Vikings. Vikings turnover. Uh, Frederick, that's dribbling down, brings it down, passes it off to. Mills for a three-pointer, no good. Rebound by uh, number 20, that's Gavin Brinkley. And that's a turnover. So the Vikings will bring it down. Andrew Berder, Berda, I'm sorry, uh, dribble it down. Oh, errant pass to Gillespie. And that goes out of bounds. Turnover on, turnover to the Bobcats. German passes off to number 10, that's Burns. He gives it back to German. Around the horn, whoa, oh, down low. And kind of lost the ball there. Lost the handle there, Bill. Yes, he did. And uh, 23, that's Berta. He hits the front of the rim, no good. That's brought down by Brinkley. Showing his size and good. Good for the Bobcats. That's uh, Jake Burns with his first basket of the evening. 25 for the Vikings, 32 for the Bobcats. Once again, uh, Vikings driving the lane up and he's fouled. 12, that's Fink. Fink will go to the line. 35, that's Frederick. Nick Frederick get charged for that foul. And Tom Fink will hit, go for uh, two free throws here early on in the third quarter. Interesting side dribble. And it works, Bill. Hey. Whatever it takes, right, buddy? Any port in a storm. Is that a military term? N nautical. Oh, nautical, I'm sorry. <laughs> He confuses me a lot. <laughs> Anyways, okay, side dribble by Fink. He's up, no good. So he goes one for two at the charity stripe. That brings the score of the Vikings 26, the Bobcats 32, three-pointer, long three-pointer. That was by Ethan Burford. Missed it, and Berta driving, and he scores the layup. We'll give him two for the his first two points of the second half. That was up by Jake Burns. That's off the rim. Rebound Vikings. Vike Berta brings it down. He wants to take it himself. Up no good. And big Ben Gillespie sinks the two-pointer on the offensive rebound. Crash the boards good. And that's a that's a uh, German for two from the outside range. Berta brings the ball up the court. Does a little fancy dribble and then passes the ball off. We've got Robertson on the drive and there's gonna be a block call. Black 14, that's Ethan Burford. That's his first foul. Number 12 in is Hunter Craddock for the, off the bench for the Bobcats. Uh, out to Slagle, and there's a reach-in foul by German. That's his first foul. So they picked up four, four fouls here. Halfway through the uh, third quarter, Bill. 
Four and, quick ones. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and there's a, there's a push foul against the Bobcats. Robertson had the ball. 14. That's Ethan Burford. Once again, he just in off the bench and he picks up two quick ones. And so the Vikings will take the ball out. You know, Bill, I, just, I get nervous with those inbound passes. <laughs> and that's your long pass, like you said. Oh, it's good for Burford. And full timeout by the Bobcats. Oh, no. By the, by the uh, I'm sorry. By the Vikings. So with 4.14 left to go in the third quarter, the score, we got a close one again. Vikings 32 and uh, Bobcats 34. Very good ball game. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of turnovers, a lot of action. A lot of action, a lot of passing the ball. You like to see that sharing the ball uh, action for sure. So once again, we want to thank all of our sponsors uh, during this uh, full timeout. And uh, we, we certainly appreciate all the gang at the, uh, down here at Venango Catholic High School. Uh, we were talking to, uh, to one of the teachers down here, Scott McRae, and he said back in the heyday, there was four, fifth, like 450 people, uh, students here with the four grades, Bill. That, that was quite a bit back then. <laughs> I'll say. So, so we'll have Bobcat Ball at the, uh, at the right end, as you're looking at the screen, the right end of the, the court. I would think that would be the north end of the court, I think, as we sit. So Bobcats pass the ball around again. Don't, don't make me get my compass out. I know. <laughs> Off the front of the rim. <laughs> no good by Frederick. And the rebound is taken up by number 10. That's Jake Burns. And there's a blocking foul. Well, they missed a lot of easy layups. Yeah, kind of hitting, hitting the rim. Taking yep. the paint off that rim there. Yep. Foul on Jake Burns. That's four, four on him. And two substitutions, it looked like, for the uh, Bobcats. So Vikings inbound the ball. Berta coming down the middle of the court. He passes it to Gillespie. Passes out to Slagle. Back to Berta. Berta in the lane. Good two-pointer. That's six in the, uh, ties, that, ties the ball game up, Bill. Yes, it does. Six points for this, uh, this quarter. For Berta, drive, and that's good. For Cal German, another two. Gonna go on a full court press now. And Here a full go. court press, right, yep. Oh, you might see some fouls here. So Robertson dribbles down in the court. He's getting caught in the corner. He finds, he finds Fink, Fink to Berta, Berta to Gillespie. Gillespie drives the lane. Walking. Oh. He's gonna go to the line. That's two on Cal German. The uh, Jess Quinn, the, the head coach for the uh, Sunday, for the uh, Clarion Bobcat, that point is good. Um, he uh, he was very nice and kind at the beginning of the game, very helpful. He's uh, not so kind to the bench right now. <laughs> we noticed behind, behind you there. So, and he makes that second uh, foul shot. Ties up the game, 36-36. Bobcats have the ball, they're passing around the outside. 14, that's Ethan Burford. Long three-pointer, no good. Rebound, good offensive rebound there. By number four, that's Drew Wren. Once again, they're uh, dribbling, passing around the 14, that's no good. Three-pointer by Burford, and that's good. By Frederick. And uh, Vikings have the ball. They're driving down the court. 24 up, no good. Robertson, that's just less speed, and that's good. Yeah. 
Boy. That was, uh, on who? On who? Five. Sorry, thank you. Uh, that's it. Archer Mills charged with the foul. And that's good. Big Ben up there sinking that charity stripe point. So they take the lead. Vikings 39, Bobcats 38. Bobcats drive down the court. And that's up and in by Frederick. And there's a turnover. Steal from the out of bounds pass by the Bobcats. Back out, long three pointer, top of the key, no good. Number 20 back in, that's Gavin Brinkley for the Bobcats. So with 155 left to go in the third quarter, the score of Vikings 39, the Bobcats 40, and there's gonna be a turnover pass. Turnover on a pass, I should say. 35, that's Fred, Nick Frederick. Um, was fouled by Andrew Berta. So that's the second one on him. And he goes to the charity stripe and no good. Whoops. Wide right on that one, Bill. Yep. <laughs> so must, must have been the wind. There you go. I shouldn't I shouldn't be using all these football references because I've been on Luke for three weeks now. You know what? I'm tired of football. I'm ready to move on to something else. That's good. White timeout. 30 second timeout. And we'll take that break with 149 left to go in the third quarter. 39 for the Vikings, 41 for the Bobcats. Anderson Physical Therapy is committed to your long-term health and well-being. With certified, licensed therapists, Andersons can provide therapy for all your rehabilitation needs. With offices located in Seneca, Cambridge Springs, Albion, and all over Northwest PA, Andersons makes it convenient for you to get back to doing the things you enjoy. So stay on top of your game with Anderson Physical Therapy. Stop in or visit us online 24-7 at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. Well, I tell you, Bill, we're back to action here. And um, the Bobcats, um, they have eight fouls in the first in the third quarter here to start off the uh, start off the, the second half uh, compared to the Vikings one. And long pass into Berta and that was pushed out of bounds by Bobcats. So the Vikings are gonna be. Um, <laughs> Full court pressure's really uh, kind of gotten to the Vikings. Yeah. So into Berta, Berta gives it back up to Fink, Fink in for two. <laughs> He's like, here I am, there I am. He gets three points for this quarter, ties it up, 41-41. So now we have a uh, German. He passes off to Mills. Mills gives it and gets it back. Berta with the strong defensive rebound. He's driving it down the court, and he goes up and... He gets fouled. We'll see five. That's Archer Mills. That's his first, or I'm sorry, that's his third foul. So Berta goes to the line. He's going to shoot two. And he makes the good one, first one. That's seven points for, or uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, seven points for the quarter. He had a big first half. He had eight points there. And off the rim. Good defensive rebound by the Bobcats. They're coming down the court and driving and good for German. Another two. Cal German's just lighting it up. I have him down for 27 so far. And Slagle went in for two. He misses. Strong rebound by Nick Frederick for the Bobcats. They bring German brings the ball down. He get uh, Frederick gives the ball to German. German decides what he wants to do. He's going to dribble to his right. He gives it back to Frederick. Around the horn to Mills. Mills back to Frederick. Frederick to 
German for a long three-pointer, no good, but rebound. Strong rebound by Gavin Brinkley. And no good. Rebound Vikings, Vikings, bring, Berta brings the ball down with 15 seconds left to go in the third quarter. See if they're gonna wait for the last shot here. They're passing around the horn quite a bit, Bill. Looks like it, let's see. And they got six, five seconds left to go and uh, there's a travel called against the Vikings with three seconds left to go in the third quarter. I guess not. They're I not waiting for the last uh, shot. Uh, no. We'll see if uh, three, two, oh uh, no. A little mix up there at the end of the third quarter. That will leave your score going into the fourth quarter. Your Venango Catholic Vikings 42 and your Clarion Bobcats 43. Anderson Physical Therapy is committed to your long-term health and well-being. With certified, licensed therapists, Andersons can provide therapy for all your rehabilitation needs. With offices located in Seneca, Cambridge Springs, Albion, and all over Northwest PA, Andersons makes it convenient for you to get back to doing the things you enjoy. So stay on top of your game with Anderson Physical Therapy. Stop in or visit us online 24-7 at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. Good. Actually, it's been a really good ball game. Uh, a lot of action. Uh, the kid for uh, Clarion, is it Hunter? Yeah. Hunter, um, Hunter Craddock coming off. You mean Cal German? The Ger shooter? German, German, that's yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. He seems to be their big gun right now. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like I said, any reports I saw, he was leading, uh, leading all scorers on their team. So. Um, but he's been quiet, really, for the amount of points he has. Yep. Really? Yeah, well, he's been uh, unselfish, passing around. So Vikings get the ball to start off. Berta at the, top, at the foul line, no good. Rebound Bobcats, German down the court. Almost lost the handle there, but he picks it back up. I'm missing somebody. And so the Bobcats are passing around inside. Oh, man. Yes, to, uh, that's Gavin Brinkley. That was a two-pointer by, whoops, two-pointer by him. So Vikings come back down the court, and Slagle gets charged with, gets called with the charge. That's one on him. So... As far as we know, we uh, only have uh, Burns has four fouls and uh, for the Bobcats. And then uh, that'll be clearing Bobcats timeout. Didn't see what he liked coming down the court, so he, he took the timeout. 7.09 left to go in the, in the game. Scores 42 for the Vikings, 45 for the Bobcats. Uh, just going over the fouls again. Uh, Burns has four for the Bobcats. Mills has three for the Bobcats, and Sicatella has three for the Bobcats. Everybody else is two, one, or zero. So, um, only real danger is uh, really Burns, and he's been kind of in and out. Coach uh, Coach Jess Quinn has uh, kind of been substituting in and out quite a bit for uh, his players to keep them fresh and try to work different schemes. Uh, I, they started, like you said, the full court press and. It's changed it's, up a little bit. It has changed the game, so. Um, they're not panicking, but uh, uh, I think Coach Quinn uh, was looking for a little bit more points and productive production out of his uh, Bobcats, so. Back with 7.09 left to go in the game here. A 42 for the Vikings and 45 for the, for the visiting Bobcats of Clarion. And Frederick back out to German. I think I've said that a few times tonight. No. Yeah. Yep. Drew ran to Frederick. Frederick jumper, no good. Big rebound by Mills. Mills out to German. He gives it back to Mills. Mills to Frederick. Around the horn they go. Brinkley has the ball. He passes it back out. German's in being contested. 
He drives to the foul line up and no good for the two, two pointers. So uh, Berta's coming back down. Ooh. He, Ooh. he almost got called for over and back, but he saved himself. That's good, go, good uh, foot coordination. Gillespie in the middle, no good. Back down by the Bobcats. German leads the charge. And he drives the lane, drops it off to Brinkley. Brinkley up for two and good. So that's two quick points, or four quick points for Brinkley in the fourth quarter here. And the Vikings come back and Berta up for no good. Sicatella in strong for a rebound. No good. Back to the Viking, or back to the Bobcats. Bobcat German up. No good. Rebound Vikings. Gillespie to Slagle. Slagle up. And no good off the glass. There's going to be a foul. Looks like it's going to be Gillespie. That's number three on him. First one of the uh, qu quarter for him. And number 12 back in. Hunter Craddock. It's getting to be a horse race. Here, here back we and forth, Oh, back my and gosh. Forth. Here, Tom Fink back in for the, uh, for the Vikings. 5.54 left to go in the game. It's a close one, like we said. It's, uh, I think this is five point lead. That's probably the, the largest lead of the, the evening, I think, Bill. Could be, within one or so. Yeah. So, Bobcats around the, around the horn. Give it to Frederick at the high post. Back out. <laughs> Over to, um, I'm sorry, Burford. Frederick decides he's going to pull back out. Burford says, okay, I'm going to call the play here and run it. Passes off to Mills. Mills tries for Frederick and gives the ball over. Turnover. Ben Gillespie up. Good. That's his first points of the game, or of the quarter. 14 with the block. That's Burford. That's his third. And... It's so going to be a one point, three point conversion here, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> extra point? Extra point. Yeah, extra point. There one field goal. And go. off the rim, no Ooh. good. Man, there's been a couple of charity stripes that have gone. It closed the rim down. Yeah. So Bobcats want to slow down a little bit with a 47 44 lead with 445 left to go in the ball game. Frederick. Frederick dribbles in to the high post. He saw, uh, Coach Quinn saw a, a need for a timeout, so he'll take a 30 second timeout. And we'll leave it here during this timeout. Um, what I was gonna say is uh, Coach Mike McNelly is probably trying to figure out how to make that, you know, how to continue that press break action and uh, how to get the ball in the hoop on those free throws. I think uh, they seem to be getting the ball down court you know, really good right now. Yeah, they're breaking it for sure. But uh, I think I think Coach Quinn on the other side for the Bobcats is kind of coming up with his own plan for you gotta how get to make some point more points on the board. He's not comfortable with this three-point lead for sure. 4.38 left to go in the game. Vikings 44, Bobcats 47. They're passing out. Pass, they're passing around. Big three-point shot by number four. That's Drew Wren, the senior. Rebound by German. German to Frederick. Frederick back to German. German goes in for two, and he doesn't make it, but he's fouled. That's going to be number three on Berta. And German's going to go up for two. To the charity stripe for two. And he hits the front of the rim, but it goes in. Good. That's his first point of the fourth quarter here. This is 28th, and he makes two of them. Bill, you remember the free throw days. <laughs> it's so important, isn't it? Oh, boy. So, boy, there's a lot of pressure there. Oh, he gets it out fine. And Berta underneath, dribbles, shoots, and he's good. You can break that press, I'll tell you. He did. He did. Bobcats bring him up. Up. German has the ball. He crosses 
the mid stripe there. He passes off to Mills. Mills back to Berta. Or, I'm sorry, Mills back to German. Frederick at the almost top of the key. Back to Mills. Mills. They're passing the ball way too fast for me to cover everything, Bill. Almost too many passes. In front of the rim. I think they should have shot it a couple passes ago, I think. That's okay. So Slagle up. No good. Follow up by Gillespie. No good. And German ends up with the ball. He's driving the cart. Up and good. That's another two points for, for German. 320 left to go in the ball game. That's 31 points for him tonight. Berta loses the ball. Throws out of bounds. He lost Turnover it. Turnover Bobcats. 315 left to go in the game. Vikings 46, Bobcats 51. German brings it across midcourt. He passes it off to Mills. Mills has foul line extended. He stops his dribble and gives it back to German. German to Mills. Mills to Frederick. Frederick drives the post. He's up in the center and good. That's his first two points of the fourth quarter here. That's his 10th of the night as I have it. Berta out to Fink. Fink is getting covered and a timeout is being called by the Vikings. Full timeout. And I think we'll take a break too here, Bill, with 238 left to go in the, in the game. The Vikings 46, the Bobcats 53. Anderson Physical Therapy is committed to your long-term health and well-being. With certified, licensed therapists, Andersons can provide therapy for all your rehabilitation needs. With offices located in Seneca, Cambridge Springs, Albion, and all over Northwest PA, Andersons makes it convenient for you to get back to doing the things you enjoy. So stay on top of your game with Anderson Physical Therapy. Stop in or visit us online 24-7 at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. We're back uh, with action from Venango Catholic High School. Score with 2.38 left to go in the game. Vic the Venango Catholic Vikings 46, the Clarion Bobcats 53. Bill, did you get an earful from the uh, Clarion, or the, yeah, the Clarion coach over there during the? Hey, he's doing his job, Bill, he, I'll tell you he what. He was, man, he, it was it's good. It's not his fault, they don't want to pay attention. Yeah, <laughs> so. Anyways, Vikings inbound the ball. Robertson has it, he gets tangled up. Ball is stolen. That's Frederick, Frederick gives it off to German. German gives it to number 10, that's Jake Burns. He rolls it in for two. And that's uh, the fourth, that's his first uh, bucket of the third, fourth quarter. Oh, Robertson <laughs> grabbed the ball and hope he's okay there. Slipped on the ice. Yeah. Yep. I think they're going to. Oh, it looks like it's going to be okay. So Bobcats take the ball out. We'll call it the north end of the gym. I'm not afraid to. I'm not afraid to pull my uh, compass out for you. Okay, that's a nautical. Or term. Or whatever my phone is. It's a nautical <laughs> term. So Bobcats have the ball. <laughs> they're passing around. Uh, I'm wondering. They're doing a little. Um, this is a North Carolina drill. We called it triangle, um, where you just kind of, you have the three guys that kind of weave in and out. That's basically it. Killing a little bit of time, and there's a reach-in call by, on Robertson. That's his first. That's his first team five for the half. Number 14, that's Ethan Burford back in for the... Um, Bobcats, he, he, he replaces Drew Wren. German uh, has the ball, but Robertson tried to get a little bit anxious with the steal, but the Bobcats maintain the ball and they're passing it around. And that's, a, that's what they're doing. There's a, and Robertson finally gets called for the foul. They have a couple fouls to um, let go of, so the next one will be. Yep, so that'll be two on him. So Bobcats take the ball out. German's at midcourt. Robertson's getting, oh, he gets a steal. 
And he goes up for two, no good, but he gets, he gets uh, fouled by German, Cal German, the leading scorer for the game. He gets three foul. That's his third foul. And that's a two, yep, he's gonna shoot two uh, from the foul line, Mr. Robertson here. And off the front of the rim, no good. 117 left to go in the game. The Vikings are at 46 and the Bobcats are 55 and uh, we're gonna have a little, we're gonna have a little maintenance uh, housekeeping here, Bill. Yeah, a little bit of water. Something. A little bit of perspiration. I believe so. <laughs> so 117 left to go, like I said, and, uh, and Robertson's gonna go up for his second foul shot. And uh, players want to be safe, and sure, the coaches do too. Obviously, the referees saw it happen, saw there was some something on the court, so they needed to wipe it up a little bit. I don't know that they're done yet, Bill. Let's have leaky pipes around right. here. Huh? <laughs> maybe we get a <laughs> maybe we get a mop out or something. I don't know, squeeze yet. So, um, I don't. Did you see the BayHawks up in Erie? They had to like. They ended a game mid mid game because there was leaky pipes on the court up at Erie uh, Erie Insurance Arena. Oh, what do you expect from an ice rink? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Must have seeped up, huh? So I was going to tell you the uh, the JV game. Um, Claren beat uh, Claren beat Venango Catholic sixty five to twenty. So we have Frederick passes the ball. Misses. This is everybody. Yeah, this is everybody. And I'm sorry, I I just um I missed that I missed that foul over there, but I'm guessing the referee will tell me what it is. Kind of in a area that I can't see. Black 14, that's number four for Burford. I believe all of them came in the fourth quarter here. 56 it, seconds left to go, or 58 seconds to go. In the Thomas, game. Thomas Fink heading to the line. He's gonna shoot two. Double bonus for the Vikings. The rest of the way. He throws it up, in good. Swoosh, as they say. So, that's his first, uh, first point of the fourth quarter with that side dribble. And up and no good. Rebound Bobcats. We're going to see some pressure defense here, I'm sure, by the Vikings. White 24. That's number three on Robertson. One and one. Going to one and one. So German, so German flag, up to the flag basketball. <laughs> I wish I could have showed you what was going on there. I almost a German did. up for a few free throw, no good. Berta carry, Berta down the lane. He makes it two. Berta, that's his fourth foul. I, I can honestly say I met him. He's a nice guy before the game. He's had too many suckers. He doesn't realize <laughs> that he's winning this ball game with 42 seconds left to go. You would have thought he's 20 points down. German good with that free free throw. He's on a sugar high. I, 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 I think it's the lollipops. I, I agree with you. German up. Another one. Good. He's, he, he is on fire for sure. So, long three-pointer by Gillespie. Oh, good. Looked like it touched the top, but it's out. Oh, Viking ball, they call it. So, 17, Viking ball in. Berta with the, oh, Berta tried to 
whip it across the court to Fink, and that goes out of bounds. Turnover, Bobcats with the ball. Um, they're trying to trying to play a tight defense here. And white three, that's uh, number four against Ben. No, I'm sorry, that's Slagle. That's two on him. So Mills going up. And that's good. His first points of the uh, fourth quarter, up and good. That's five for uh, Mills. And 21 seconds left to go in the third. Slago up for three, and that's a good one. He buries it from downtown. Or is that out back in this case? Probably out back. Clarion, Venango campus, by the pond. So with 16 <laughs> seconds left to go in the out game, west. <laughs> and we have the score, the Venango Catholic Vikings 52, the Clarion Bobcats 59. And that's a full timeout here. Uh, just going over the, uh, going over the scoring. Um, obviously we have Cal German leading all scorers. 33 points as of right now. So uh, a little bit above his uh, his average, I believe. So that will increase that. Next closest would be, looks like um, Berta from Venango Catholic. Uh, 15, 19 points for him, so. Those are two leading scores for each of the teams. 19. Oh, also Gillespie has 19 also for the Vikings here. So. 16 seconds left to go. Long pass. Good and a foul. And good. <laughs> Against, I'm sorry, Colin. Number 12. Oh, it's against Fink? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's his first tonight. Team 10th, that's in the bonus, but it was a uh, good oh, by two. Bounce around, no good. So Burns had that two, and then he went up, and there's another foul. Go to shoot two. Looks like German's going to line. Number 12 again. Oh, he got two fast ones, didn't he, there? He's making them count. Yep. 12 seconds left to go. Can't take them home with you. You cannot take those and timeouts home. <laughs> and, oh, I'm sorry, Frederick, that is. Frederick's up, good. It's like a good old mulligan. You can't take it home That's with right. You. I used three of them in time. 6-1. 6-1 six one. <laughs> junior, Frederick, he gains the next one. This is another dangerous thing because then you get something like that, a quick turnover. And German in for two. <laughs> wow, five seconds left to go. That's not too embarrassing. Berta either. brings down and he goes for a three-pointer, no good. So that leads your score. The final score, your Clarion Bobcat 65. Your Venango Catholic Vikings 52. Leading scorer, real quick. 27 and eight makes 35 for Cal German. And uh, 19 for Ben Gillespie. And 19 for Andrew Berta for the Vikings. All right, well, good ball game back and forth. Uh, final score final score was kind of a pull out at the end, Bill, but um, it was good hustle on both sides. Good ball game tonight down here in Oil City. Very yep. good. Yep, so, hey, this is uh, for Bill McCrillis. This is Chris Feely for Stream Media. We will uh, see you at the next game. It's been a pleasure covering District 9 KSAC basketball action. Stay warm, everybody. Good night. High School Sports on Stream Television is brought to you by...
Pennsylvan International, manufacturers and exporters of veneer logs and kiln dried lumber. The Laurel Eye Clinic, a better vision for you. Anderson Physical Therapy. Stay on top of your game by visiting them today in their Seneca office located on Route 257 or online at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. The Cranberry Mall. Great Valentine gift ideas can be found at the Cranberry Mall. Clay Peck Auto Body. The Clay Peck Difference. Invisible repairs. Learn more at claypeckauto.com and by Rick Bowler, Allstate Insurance Agent, located on Route 322 by Sheets, proudly supporting all the athletes in Venango County.